Yes, gents, how are we doing? So what we're talking about today is how to get out of a funk or like a rut or like a sort of, um, if you've been going along through a, a cycle, you know the sort of, oh, I just need to get out, I need to stop doing this, whatever, okay? You've been doing it for a few days, few weeks, few months even, whatever, and you just want to sort of pull yourself and get back on track, okay? Um, now, this applies, again, a similar thing to like obviously getting started, okay? Um, because so get out of that funk, again, in that rut, in that cycle, um, you're not necessarily going to want to do anything, okay? You, you perhaps know you sort of, oh, I should be sort of, uh, like, why am I doing this? Uh, it's, it's not good for me. But then, like, sort of perhaps doing exercise and going towards doing something different, it's not really going to be motivating because your body is happy where it is and it's not going to want to do that. So you have to realize that. Realize it is going to be a struggle. You are after sort of, it's going to take a lot of energy to sort of get started to get that sort of that ball moving at the beginning, okay? Because the body, like I said, is used to where it's at and it likes that. It doesn't want to change. It doesn't want to go out to that comfort zone. And that's why you've been in there for so long, okay? But now the sort of the pain has perhaps built up enough and just like, oh, enough's enough. And you want to do something about that. So what you obviously what you need to do is obviously, like I said, taking that energy and realizing, yeah, okay, you need to rip that bandit to start, start again moving, okay? And so take that first step. And not trying to sort of take the staircase, but just take one step. That's what you need to do. Take a step in the like the positive direction, the direction you want to go. So Again, just take, make it as small as you can, that small step, okay? So wherever you're at, again, if you're in that funk, again, the easiest way is just to sort of get, start getting active, start getting a sweat on, and sort of like exercise and whatever, because what that does then, it's a catalyst for everything else. So like I said, it might be just for you, perhaps going out and get a walk in, okay? I had a conversation yesterday, and just perhaps like wherever you're at, the level you're at, it might just be going sort of a walk into the end of your street, walking on your block, 15 minutes, perhaps 20, 30 minutes, whatever, Okay, or if you're fitter or you've done more before and it's just a few days, you just need to perhaps get another run in. You can go running again, get a workout in, whatever. Okay, and just make it small, make it easy. Okay, easy for you to win and just to get it started. That's all you need to do. Okay, if you just like you haven't trained for like a week and you want to get back into it, just sort of like yeah, just make it like and do what you like doing, whether it's a run and just go for like a run, like a 10 minute run. Don't put any expectation on it. Don't like sort of think you have to hit any certain standards or you have to be where you were. You just have to get it done and start and like so focus on the action. Okay, that's what it's about. Okay, reducing the obstacles to get it done. So you just make it easy as you can. It's just simple. Um, it just perhaps you might just start with like fifty press ups. Just start with that. Okay, again, reduce those obstacles, reduce the objections, and um, make it as easy as you can to win and start like so sort of taking that first step, and then so you can build from there. Okay, so. I said, you do that, you start sweating again. Automatically, that sort of reprograms your body, and you have that sort of the changes how you feel, how you think. You always feel better after working, you're energized, your mood is different. So then from there, you start doing other things. You could perhaps start sort of, okay, drinking a bit more water, okay? Um, perhaps you start sort of like cutting back on your takeaways, alcohols, it's like sort of you start reducing those, okay? Um, perhaps you sort of, after that workout, you had a better night's sleep. So then you start feeling better. Okay, and it's just these little things that all it is, it's just perhaps doing more of the things that's going to benefit you and reducing um, the things that hold you back. Okay, so it is sort of perhaps like working out, like eating better, sort of perhaps cooking more meals at home, eating more veg, eating more sort of whole foods, um, perhaps like getting to bed a little bit earlier. Um, yeah, like I said, drinking more water, perhaps you start like sort of yeah, generally active through the day as well, getting your steps up. Perhaps it's just sort of you start meditating, doing a little bit of work of that, like some yoga, something like that, like sort of five, ten minutes. Okay, just again, it's just making it easy. None of these things are sort of like an hour long, okay? It's just so sort of making it easy to get the action done, okay? And then it sort of like kick starts everything. Um, again, you start doing these and then you start perhaps reducing um, the other things that are perhaps holding you back, like whether it's the takeaways, whether it's alcohol, whether it's the sort of people and conversations you've been having, okay, whether it's sort of listening to news and social media, okay, you start reducing these things that sort of like, cause negativity and anxiety. Um, because what you need to do the sort of the environment, sort of the cause of the rut, that, that is not going to help you get out of the rut, okay? You need to change that environment. You need to change how you think and do because that got you to where you are. So that needs to change, okay? Because like, so being in that sort of that, that pit, that, that fishbowl, 
is just, it's not conducive, okay? It's not helping you because that's what got you into the rut. So now you need to change things. Perhaps it's the conversations you have, the people you sort of speak to, perhaps less time on socials, perhaps not watching the news first thing in the morning, uh, perhaps turn off notifications on your phone before and bed and when you get up in the morning, whatever, okay? But it's reducing some of these and including some of these. So you're, again, you're happier, you have more ha energy, uh, you start to feel better, okay? And like I say, you're sweating and you, t you take a more action then, okay? Because again, you start small, that's the, that's the main thing. It's just like getting started, okay? And just really um, realizing your body's going to want to resist it. It's going to want to resist it every step of the way. But you have to keep pushing through this. And the more you do, the better it gets. And like I said, that's why it's so important to make it as easy as you can and make it as simple and just focus on the sort of consistency rather than trying to sort of build into any sort of intensity or performance or whatever, anything about that. It's just about doing the action. So today it's just like, oh, I, I need to get started. I'll try and get a walk in. Um, no, just go for a walk now. That's all you need to do. Just go for a walk. Just literally some five, 10 minutes. That's all you need to do. Just get a walk to the street and back. That's the action done. Okay, that's a stamp. Okay, in terms of like perhaps the new habits and getting out of that rut. And then you can build on that. Okay, don't think, oh, I have to go and walk and sort of like an hour. No. Okay, because that's just an obstacle. That's just going to seem so, ooh, I don't know about that. I'm going, oh, I've got an hour in my day, different things like that. You've got to try and sort of, your mind will think of ways to not do it. Okay, so you've got to take that step and just make things easy. Whenever it comes to you eating, oh, I have to do this, oh, I have to eat all this veg, I eat healthy. No, you don't. Just have a piece of fruit. Just have, a, like, have an apple, something like that, whatever. Okay, but it just puts sort of that sort of that stepping stone in place. And this is what you've got to do. This is what people sort of like, they get sort of so wrong is they obviously try, always try and swing a home run. They try and make such big changes and it backfires on them or they can't sustain it. And it's like, yes. Or they set themselves up, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. And then they, they get scared then because it's just like, it's so much to do. It's, it seems so like intense and just like, oh, wow, yeah, I just don't want to do it. You overwhelm yourself. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. So you need to reduce that. Like I said, keep it so simple, okay? Because you need to just do anything now to get out of the rut you're in, okay? Realize it's going to take energy. Realize it's going to sort of have to start. Because the cycle, again, you haven't sort of got energy perhaps, Um to train but again training will give you energy and that's the, the only the thing that will get like snap you out of it so you might just be in a rut of just sort of not doing anything just grinding through the day living off coffee energy drinks and um, just going on your sofa and just grinding like on a hamster wheel for the day right now you need to shock yourself and get out of that you need to just like i said really get out today get out and like outside and say get active get a sweat and get that blood pumping that's the, perhaps the easiest thing and just have the, the quickest effect. Um, it's like having a shower wakes you up, okay? You do that um, and then perhaps, as I said, start drinking more water, okay? And then sort of uh, start perhaps, I don't know, just have a bit of fruit, things like that. Blend up sort of a few, like two or three pieces of fruit and then you blend, like start building each day. You, 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 you add that in, you do a walk now each day, you add your steps up, okay? And then you can layer on top of that and then and in a few days time, then you add another layer, you add something else. Okay, and then in the meantime, you start perhaps reducing one thing. You reduce sort of, right, you go from like plus three takeaways to two takeaways a week. Okay, um, I won't have as much of this and just whatever. I, I'll spend one hour less per day like watching news, watching social media. You just start bringing things down and then you start adding things in, okay? And that's it. Just like getting out of that rut, okay? It's just, it's recognizing it when you're and then it's just, just taking that first step and making it as easy as you can get some confidence get some momentum okay and shifting towards our new uh, back on track basically instead of trying to think oh I'll uh, like I'll start Monday I'll do this and this is this no don't start Monday start now okay Monday again now that's just again the old version of you talking that's just that's just keeping you in the rut thinking you're waiting for Monday you think you're waiting for the gyms to open you're waiting for the sort of a quiet time that is what's keeping you in the rut in the hole you need to start now and don't sort of, oh, I'll try and go for a walk. No, what, what, what do you mean you try? Just go for a walk, okay? Why do you need to try, okay? Just get out the sort of the house and go for like 15 minutes, okay? Bring, take the kids with you. Like, they love it, okay? Is, you don't need to try and do it. Oh, I'll try and do this. I'll, like, if you try and you're just not committed, you're not like, so that's just the version of you just dipping your toe in the water. No, like say, I'm going to get out this rat. Come on, I'm going to do this. I'm going to promise myself, I'm going to go for a walk. I'm